So the next presentation we're going to have is on uh, telling the story of the great work you do. So the neighborhood councils around the city are working really hard. Great work's taking place. And what's really important is getting the press. So Rachel's going to join us, and she's going to um, give you some strategies for uh, getting some good press, eh? Yes, I am. Hi, so I'm just going to go through a couple of what I think are useful strategies to get, to get the story out there. Strategies that I've used uh, in my own professional experience telling the story other places. Uh, so hopefully this will also be useful to you. So, excuse the cheesy slides, I tried to make it a little bit inspirational. So, you can move to the next slide. So, the first thing that you want to focus on is what kind of headline are we producing? And this isn't going to go on the cover of the LA Times, but still, it helps you to formulate whatever you're writing about. What's your piece of news? What's newsworthy? Because everything is newsworthy. You just have to make it that way. You have to present it that way. So, you know, these could be written in a different way, and it would be kind of boring. A lot of people came to the elections on election night. Doesn't sound as good as NC election turnout hits all-time high, or something interesting like that. So these are just some examples of, let's think about what our headline might be. And the third one is particularly relevant given what was just presented about appealing to the younger people with the hashtag. So, so here's some principles uh, to think about every time you're writing something that is newsworthy. The first thing is keep it short. I have this little pie chart up here because it shows the time people spend, not online, but looking at news online. Very tiny amount, so the chance that they're gonna spend a lot of time on what you write is probably not very high, but they'll probably glance at it. So keeping it short is a really good idea. I have a tendency to be very wordy, can you tell? And you know, it just helps to be more succinct because that's how you get people's attention. You get the message across. Keep it fresh. What does that mean? It means when something happens, it's newsworthy and it's newsworthy for a particular window of time, and then it's not newsworthy anymore. So you wanna anticipate the event, put out a press release right before it happens. If you know something is going to happen that you think is going to be newsworthy, write it up ahead of time and then fill in the blanks afterwards and make sure that you get it out as soon as possible to whatever channels you're trying to get it out to. Keep it focused. I have Mr. Rogers here because <laughs> there's a reason. Um, I like Mr. Rogers, but also because um, if you remember when he would go into his Make Believe Land King Friday, you know, these are elements of the story, storytelling. So remember in a story, you know, there's your hero, there's your villain, there's your conflict, and there's your resolution. Well, obviously you're not penning the next children's story here, but it's a similar thing, you know? What, what are, is overcome, or what is achieved, what is accomplished? There has to be some kind of a conflict, otherwise you wouldn't be writing this. So just keeping that in mind, that these are the elements of something that's newsworthy. And then, uh, Keep it real. What does that mean? Well, a picture tells a thousand words, right? So if you see something like this, well, this was some pretty nice turnout. We didn't have to write that there was nice turnout because you can see that there's nice turnout. And you can also see that there's a nice interaction happening um, here with the Department of Neighborhood Empowerment and, and some folks there, and they're having a good time. And that says a lot more than anything you, you could write. So, so pictures are really important. That, that's why we're sharking around here, taking 8,000 photos of each other while we present. So. Um, and keep a connection. So I use the LA Times, but of course, um, neighborhood uh, papers or online papers, blogs. Everybody's writing something now on the internet. Everybody has something to share. Everybody needs content, and it's easy to get content uh, posted in general. So um, not only uh, timeliness, but also that connection is very important. Having somebody to send it to and say, hey, have a look at this. You think you might want to share this uh, online. Just editors, these people are important to have in place before you have your newsworthy events to write about. And then finally, take action. And the reason why uh, the background here is as a screenshot of, of our page is that it's not just any page, it's a newsletter. So of course, a really easy uh, first uh, step or every time you have something newsworthy, you should share it with us so that all the other councils can see it, so 
we can see it, anybody on the page can see it, um, because it's important to take stock of, of, what's been, of what's been done and what's been accomplished, even if it's really small things. So some people are getting the newspaper, hopefully everybody's getting the newsletter now, and we want you to share your stories on, on the newsletter. And finally, thank you, don't forget to proofread. You get it? Uh, and on that note, there happens to be an error, a typo, in your menu. So if you read closely, you can find it and see, not just that one, that's a bonus. There's another one in here. Uh, if you can find it, you uh, get a special a special prize at the end of the night. So keep your eyes out for your own copy editor. And that's it. So if that's a strategy you'd like to work on, um, Rachel will be working with you on uh, press releases setting up a template for your neighborhood council so that you can make contacts. You probably know your local press or not, but we'll help you with some press contacts if that's what you'd like to work on. And if it's just writing great stories and, and submitting them, we'll help you with that also and provide you with some templates so that you can tell a great story and get the press you deserve. The Hyperion Bridge that we talked about just a minute ago, Barbara, there were, was it 150 people? Oh, easily, maybe more. Right. So, I mean, that's a big story. So, who told that story? It was local press that had it first thing in the morning. The quotes, the, um, the people that spoke, the issues, the presentations. And so, what you often see is it's local press that drives the larger LA Times Daily News. And so, there's lots of opportunities to tell great stories that resonate and then get you the people that you want to connect with. So if that's one that interests you, check it off, and then when you turn it in, we'll come back and work with you as a region and, then with, and, and as a neighborhood council on this particular strategy.